Hello, this is Gary007 and welcome to Avorian. This is a mining guide for beginners. So if you're not a beginner, open a beer I suppose, have a beer, sit back and just watch the video. It might be entertaining for you for 5 minutes, 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, point out any mistakes I might have made. I, did, I do not want to put uh, point the beginners in the wrong direction. So leave a comment below if I've made a mistake somewhere in my videos. Um, but so I thought we might get into it and break it down step by step uh, so you understand uh, what's ahead of you when it comes to mining and how to set up a mining operation, how to set up mining fighters and all that sort of gif gaff sort of stuff. So yeah, so what is it, what is mining in Avorian, what you need to get started uh, when it comes to mining and how to be successful in mining. And if you can tell me that, that'd be great, and I'll finish up right now. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get... So, we have seven different materials that you used in the game. As you can see, I've got a list there of iron, titanium, nanite, trinium, organite, avorian. So all of these materials can be found throughout the galaxy, Avor exception for avorian. Avorian is only found in the center of the galaxy. So you won't find it outside of that until you get past the barrier. But we'll talk about that later in the game, I guess, when you come across it. But when you when you start your mining operation, a mining laser can always go one tier up. So if you've got a mining iron mining laser, you'll be able to mine uh, titanium with it. If you have a titanium one, you'll be able to mine nanite as well. It's so always one tier up. And if you have nanite, you can mine iron, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's um, that's how uh, lasers work in the in, in the game. There there are two different types of mining turrets. You got your normal mining turret, and you got your R mining turret. The difference is efficiency. So the R mining turret is extremely more efficient than your normal mining turret. I've underlined it there so you can see it. The efficiency rating is huge. You got 12% compared to 64%. Just as in this example of trinium, when it comes to mining, so your R mining lasers are extremely more efficient. So you want to be aiming to equip those onto your ship. However, you'll need a bunch of blocks and systems to be able to make that work. Early in the game, your normal mining turrets. Are fine uh, you can set up drones and have them on there so you don't have to worry about cargo space and all the rest of it our mining turrets they they require cargo space and transport of chips well not transport of chips but cargo space you need a lot of cargo space and every time it fills up you have to get them to um, you have to unload them and get them refined so your normal mining turrets are perfectly fine on a drone early in the game even though they're inefficient I know they're inefficient but at least it'll get you going early on in the game by setting up a heap of drones and where you can concentrate on fighting pirates conquering the galaxy <laughs> or trading so um, yeah but our mining turrets are the ones that you want to be aiming for within the game and that's what the game is built around so what do you need to start using your R mining turrets? Well, there's several things here uh, we need to cr cross off. Uh, cargo bay, you need lots of cargo storage uh, when it comes to um, uh, R mining turrets because all your material gets put into your cargo bay and then you have to go and refine it. So you need a large cargo bay to hold the unrefined materials. Assembly blocks. Uh, this is to do with our mining fighters. So if you don't want to run fighters, and you just want to mine as a ship. All you need is a cargo bay, and you need your miners. But if you want to expand, which we're going to talk about, and sort of expand into the um, mining fighters, is what is where you want to head to as end game. So you can set up. Uh, it's a lot more efficient. So you'll need an assembly block for and you'll need a hanger and you'll need a transporter block and you'll need a transporter software 
So the assembly block is how you build your fighters. You'll say you'll need a big block for that. The bigger the block, the quicker the production times when it comes to producing fighters. Hanger, you need a large hanger, multiple hangers, or big large hangers to hold um, lots of fighters, like mining fighters. And you need a transporter block, and this is a small block. It, doesn't, it just doesn't have to be a huge uh, block um, size, it's just, just a small one. And you need a transporter software. So if you, you, that is a must if you're going to run fighters. You need a transporter software and it has to be um, permanently installed. You can't run our mining fighters without the transporter software. And of course you need pilots. Make sure you've got plenty of pilots. you picked up plenty of pilots to be able to operate your fighters. Or your fighters are just going to sit in the hangar and your spaceship are not going to do anything. So they are the key things. You also need a captain if you want to do this remotely. So you don't have to be there all the time. A captain will allow you to do that. So where do you buy these R mining fighters? So you can buy them in a fighter factory. And you can buy mining fighters at fighter factories. Um, their stats are low. They're fine. Early on, you can get away with them. It's not an issue. But they just got low stats, meaning they're not very fast. They don't have great maneuverability. They might be a little large, depending on how big your ship is. But they just got lower stats and not as quick. But they're fine. You can get away with it if you don't want to build your own. But if you do want to build your own, um, you'll need a template. You can build your own little ship. It has to be under 200 blocks. And what you do is, um, when you build your own, you look, want to look for your R mining turret that you want to use. So find the template you want to use. You can create one in uh, cre uh, creator mode. It has to be under 200 blocks. Find the R fighting uh, turret that you want. And then what you do is you can play around with the stats by increasing the speed, maneuverability, or the size of the ship. Um, that's that's up to you, that's your preference. Some people like smaller ships. The size doesn't really matter as long as you've got huge hangers. If you don't have a huge hanger, then the smaller the size, the better. Uh, that will take into account, though, it will take longer to produce them if the smaller they are. And then you just hit create. And you've made your first mining fighter. So, you know, that's not too bad. That's, that's quite easy. Uh, I'm sure you can do it and you can create some really cool little fighters if you want mining fighters mine looks pretty hoboish but <laughs> anyway it's okay it gets the job done so remember this is where assembly blocks come into it make sure you have large assembly blocks the bigger the one biggest ones you can afford at the time because that will uh, dictate the production of these fighters so in the ship building menu you want to Come into your hangar and you want to find your fighter which will be in one of the hangars and this one for example uh, we want to turn it into a blueprint so as you can see i've got a bunch of blueprints there and if we were to drag it over into this box here it will warn us that we're going to destroy this fighter but that's fine because you're going to turn it into a blueprint now i'm going to hit cancel because i don't really want to do it on my ship but that's where you would turn your ship into a blueprint. Don't stress, once it's a blueprint, you can keep reproducing that same copy over and over again. So you wanna make sure you put the best R mining turret that you have available onto a fighter to give it the best uh, capabilities for your mining operation. So make sure you enable production as well and Again, your assembly blocks will dictate how quickly production will happen when it comes to fighters. This will take a while to build up a fleet, but once you've got it, you've got the fleet for life, basically. Unless you get your ship destroyed, so make sure you've got backup copies on some other ships that you have in your fleet. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much how you build your own fighters, how you turn them into blueprints. And yeah, that is how you do that. <laughs> so I guess we might move on and look for an example. So we're going to go mining. 
just very brief operation here I found a bunch of asteroids so you want to rock up and find some mining opportunities so as you can see I can see some trinium from here so what we're going to do we're going to release all of our fighters so we want to select them and we want to have them on harvest now we're going to release them and as you can see they're all piling out of my fighter bays by having four fighter bays on my ship it allows for quick access of in and out especially when you want to recover your fighters um, they you'd want at least more than two bays really you want it, as many bays as you can possibly have on your ship as you can see your hard work is paying off and you've started your first mining operation in Avorian using our mining fighters and yeah real entrepreneur <laughs> in the game it does look cool when you sit back and see them going at it so as you can see if you set up a ship with a captain with everything that we've talked about in the video you can leave this now and tell the captain to mine and they'll mine out the sector and they'll tell you when they're finished and you can come back later and pick them up and move them onto another sector so that's really the fun when it comes to mining is, is setting up all these um, setting them up in sectors and moving them around again uh, you want a lot of cargo space so you're able to stay out at long periods of time to and when it comes to operation so yeah mining in Avorian it's pretty cool now you want to return your fighters we're gonna we're gonna sort of bail out of here so I can show you how to refine so this is what I wanted to show you is the fighter bays see how I have more than one fighter bay if you're having 120 fighters trying to get into the one bay it can you can be there for quite a while <laughs> another thing I want to cover as well uh, is make sure you have enough firepower on your um, mining operate uh, ship to defend itself <laughs> that's a big plus so we're off to a resource uh, depot and basically we're going to go to the refinery part and we're going to refine all of our uh, materials now this can take a couple of minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes however big your ship is it can take a while so if it does you can you can um, undock and take off somewhere else and come back later and pick it up also on a uh, on a side note the better reputation you have with a faction the less refinery tax you'll pay so at the moment I'm paying 2% you can get it down to like 1% I think I can't remember but that that if you're unfriendly with a faction and, and, and you're not really in favor with them they'll probably charge you like a 10% tax you know so the better reputation you have uh, with a faction the less tax you'll have to pay when it comes to refining uh, your materials so that is how you mine in Avorian so thank you for sticking around and listening to a knucklehead like myself don't forget to leave a comment hit the subscribe button and yeah, alright, see you in the galaxy.